Hello and welcome. My name is Tim Brady and I had a few questions for you. I want to talk to you a little bit about fostering animals. So my question for you is, have you ever been lonely sitting at home and just wondered if you could take care of an animal but you're not sure yet? You're still in the process of thinking but you don't know if you have the time. So my boyfriend and I for the last year have been looking for a little animal to bring home, but we can never decide on what type of animal, what we could do, and the amount of time that we could offer him or her. Also, the financial side, a little, little unsure. So we decided within the last four weeks that we would foster an animal, and we fostered a four-month-old little Siamese kitten, and he is cute as could be. We first started off by looking into a shelter and they were actually able to hook us up. They provided us with financial benefits and directions on how to help take care of him, make sure he's comfortable living at, home, at our house. There are many programs out there to help everyone and there is lots of help needed, mostly volunteers but fostering is just one step of volunteering for the shelters to help animals. For starters, you need to find the right program for you, which is based off of your demands. There are many programs available. Some of these programs include short-term and even long-term fostering. Each program is different in limitations, such as how many pets you can foster at a time, also for how long, and you'll need to consider how much attention you can devote to the animal which will change a lot of it based off of the animal. One program is called the Keep Our Pets, which helps families who undergo tragic emergencies in their household and are unable to provide for the pet. So this program works in a way where after the emergency, you can seek out this program to help and there are fosterers who will take the pets, take care of them while the family is rebuilding and they will get this pet back to their original home to keep it in the family without the fear of the pet being euthanized or neglected in any way. And they do undergo strict um, background checks. Another program will ask for volunteers at the shelter or even at your own home to foster an animal and they do this for Animals that are sick and need extra attention that the shelter cannot provide, or if the animal is not doing okay in the shelter, if it's not suitable, not fit to live in the shelter with the other animals. Whether there are financial struggles or you're just not confident in taking care of them, there is help for every question. There is 24-7 around-the-clock help. Almost all programs will supply you with the materials necessary. For ill animals, they will provide the medication and teach you how to administer any doses. Make sure you are 100% ready to take care of this animal. As well as they will pay for all the medications and they will pay for any emergency visits necessary. For other animals, the ones that are homeless, they will ask for fosters to take care of them in order to prevent overcrowding, which does lead to euthanization. It may seem like a lot of work at times, but there are plenty of benefits out there for fostering animals. So on top of keeping this animal in your home, playing with it, having the best time of your life, um, the benefits range from program to program, but some of them include just the personal reward of knowing that you have saved an animal and you have helped him from living in a overcrowded shelter, being neglected, and other benefits can include tax deductibles for IRS approved shelters. Now I know it may seem like a lot of work, I've said this before, but in comparison if you are unsure whether or not you are ready to take care of an animal, this is the best way to find out. It's the easiest way, it's the most financial smart way to figure out whether you can take care of him or not. So there are hundreds of programs out there. You just the first step is inquiring to your local shelter, 
a lot of them, if they do not offer fostering, they will know of other shelters around that offer fostering. So the whole point of this is to make sure that animals aren't being euthanized for no reason, that there's always another way to help and prevent this. So next time you go home, if you feel lonely, you feel like you want a pet, but are unsure if you can take care of them or not, just talk to your shelter, find your local shelter, and they will help you figure it out for you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening. And please go foster today, if not adopt. Thank you.